I'm Bruce St. James, she's Pamela Hughes, he's Rob Hunter, and here are the stories everyone's talking about. We call it The Playlist. Track one. Don't look at your 401k statements today, all right? Uh, Markets around the world closed down after news came out that Greece may not take the European bailout aimed at helping that country deal with debt and budget issues. So far, the markets have opened in negative territory with the Dow down a little bit still. Yeah. 282. A little 282? Bit. <laughs> a little bit? Yeah. Uh, more than a little bit. Sorry about that. Well, this is what a leaderless state looks like, and that mm. being Greece. The people, they want them to vote on this now. The people are not going to vote. To get a dollar less from the government, and they honestly couldn't care less how bad it is for other people. Sure. <laughs> well, you know what? The euro is unraveling faster than Kim Kardashian's wedding. I'll hey! tell you that much. Look at that. Ouch. Get a million How am I going to follow that up? It's tough. I'm just going to say something about interconnectedness no, in the world, but it doesn't good. even matter Kardashian. anymore. I can't top that. that yeah. Track two. All right. Mark Gudeau is guilty. Yes, the baseline killer found guilty of 67 different crimes yesterday, including nine murders. Investigators link Gudeau to the murders and sexual assaults with DNA evidence. Gudeau had already been sentenced to more than 400 years in prison in a prior case. He terrorized Phoenix from August of 2005 to June of 2006. It's, it, prosecutors are considering the death penalty, just like the son is considering coming up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. I was here in the summer of 06, mm-hmm. and I remember that was all everybody was talking about, because oh, yeah. that was going on, the shooters were going oh, sure. on, everybody was like freaked out, it was like, oh, you don't go to this neighborhood, don't go to that neighborhood, and I just try to re- imagine living here during that time. Oh, okay, try imagine living in that neighborhood, where I was Ouch. living in Phoenix at that moment, the baseline killer was killing people the shooters were killing people you don't want to leave your house it was very scary and so i hope that's a point in time that phoenix never has to revisit well, a couple of more banks are going to drop those proposed debit card fees first it was sun trust now bank of america they both said yeah, they're really? not going to charge their five dollar a month fee to use their debit cards wow so analysts said hey those debit cards might be going away but so are free checking accounts too <laughs> you know what I, i've decided to make an executive decision i'm going to be moving to the buried cash in a coffee can in the back yard approach to avoid <laughs> being nickel and dimed by every bank out there. Well, you're going to be nickel and dimed one way or another, Bruce. Like we said, free checking accounts going yeah. away. Free savings accounts are going away. Yeah. Free teller visits Whoa. have gone away. Listen, this is the price of doing business with a bank. Get used to it. Hey, they have stockholders that need to make money, and they're going to do it any way they can. So is this a victory for the Occupy Wall Street protest, or is this really a victory for, again, Facebook and its ability to organize protests? We'll talk about that later. Track four. Well, obviously, we have Sheriff Joe here in Maricopa County. Well, Spartanburg County, South Carolina, has Sheriff Chuck White. He's urging all women to get themselves a gun. That's right. This came after a woman was attacked in a county park. White said, our form of justice is just not cracking it. He added, carry a concealed weapon. That'll fix the problem with violence. Listen. An armed society is a polite society, and as my father used to remind me growing up in Texas, everyone he knew carried a gun. They just didn't shoot one another. (laughs) Well, that's a good thing. I'm all for Annie getting her gun, but make sure Annie knows how to use it safely. Good point. That's fine. I just want to point out that we almost have a competition about who's America's grumpiest <laughs> sheriff is. Not toughest, <laughs> grumpiest. Sheriff, no, no, it's Sheriff Joe, and you got this white guy, and uh, yeah. and his last name is White, not He's just like, the white guy. <laughs> just the white guy. <laughs> Track five. All right, well, Glendale Police have now assigned a homicide detective as the lead investigator in the Jesse Shockley case. Now, though, they did say missing person and child crime detectives are still looking for the missing five-year-old girl. Now, meanwhile, Jesse's mother, Jerese Hunter, has given birth to another baby, and that wow. baby is also now in the custody of CPS, guys. Uh, listen, this case is is bizarre. It is sad. And, and the reality is, is I think if you looked at yourself and you're honest, if this little girl was blonde and blue-eyed, Nancy Grace and Greta Van Susteren would have been camped out here the entire time looking for her. Yeah, I don't disagree, and i just like to add that the stats on cases like this are sad. The longer kids go missing, the less likely they are to be returned and yeah. be completely fine. And, and because of that, you know, they're also kind of looking at some alternative ways of maybe trying to find her and kicking around the idea of maybe calling in a psychic to help. In fact, one 
who's worked with a group uh, created by a former DEA agent who believes the little girl is still alive. Oh, okay. Track six. So he's kicked the habit. President Barack Obama, no longer a smoker. All right. The report started coming out yesterday after he got his annual physical. Dr. Jeffrey Coleman was in charge. He says the president's in excellent health, fit Good. for duty, and the fact that he quit smoking is only going to help. Does this mean he's going to be gaining weight next? Isn't that the when you quit, no, yeah, when quit, you quit smoking, smoking? Right, he's going yeah. to be he can load up on the, that. He could afford to put couple, on a couple, couple pounds. Couple lbs. I, I got to believe that every president though has some sort of crutch to get through how miserable that job Scott, is. Scott, Scott, I, I love, love Scott. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know what? At least I, I say good for the president. He's setting a good example for the kids that look up to him. So butt out there, president. Right. Well, and I you know I add to that by saying. Uh, the stress of the presidency makes you probably want to smoke more, and the fact yeah. that he was able to quit. <laughs> not just no, cigarettes. Not bad. Or that he not just bad, limited Mr. it to President. cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. not bad. Yeah. Good, good for him. All right, that is the playlist. What we do is get you caught up on the stories that everyone's talking about. The bottom of every hour. We appreciate you joining us for it.